Hello and welcome back everyone. Uh, in this short video, well, take more than a few minutes anyway, I'm just playing a few of my um, fighting games that I purchased on Steam, some on Steam and some on CD keys, as the offer there was a lot uh, better. The first one you can hear or see here is uh, Dead or Alive 6. I bought the base game from CD keys itself and put it into Steam activated it through Steam as I played this through Steam on the PC. As you can see from here I'm just selecting the actual characters that I'm going to be using. Let's try... Yeah, what's his name? Jason Lee or something like that. That's the one. Uh, he, this is supposed to be like a, a take on Bruce Lee. Uh, he uses the Jet Kundu style. So just wanted to see what this was going to be like. Yeah, we'll see. So here we go. Definitely moves like Bruce Lee. Um, it's got that mannerism that we have, that we see here. I'm not too sure what the actual techniques he's using. This, I think that there are aspects of Wing Chun because he does do the um, uh, the chain punch combination punch. But I think I did it in here. I did it in another one. Um, certainly does a lot of the acting and stuff. Okay, there we go again. I've just found with uh, Dead or Alive, some of the characters are a lot better than others. Okay, and the next game we go and play is uh, Injustice 2. Again, this was bought on CD keys. You just have to bear with me a minute because I've forgotten how to play this. I only got this recently, but I'm just uh, trying to sort this out. Okay, I think we'll play as Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate. I'm just trying to figure out which one to select. Ah, Leonardo. Leonardo is a good one. I quite like the turtles in this. And you'll soon see why. It's approaching Slaughter Swamp. So here we go, let's see what goes on. The intros on uh, Injustice 2 are pretty good, pretty nifty. They, each character has turned to intro. Ready for a lesson in turtle power? Begin. As you can see from here, it's very similar to Mortal Kombat because they're basically the same people that did it. So the whole feel about this is definitely Mortal Kombat-ish, as you can see from here. Now, I'm not very good at playing these games, doing combinations and stuff. I find it a bit, uh, a little, you know, just mashing, thing, mashing uh, the buttons all the time. It seems to be happening, but... I'm not doing too bad. This is set on easy mode anyway, so it's, there's nothing too too bad about this. I do like the animation on this. It's a lot better, um, similar to Mortal Kombat. Again, it's the same, virtually the same people that did it, I think. And it's a good thing about uh, playing as uh, Leonardo. He gets his uh, brothers to help him out from time to time. I'm playing as Dr. Fate here, I think. Bye -bye. That's a pretty nifty move he's got. With the Egyptian cross, I forget what it's actually called, that Egyptian cross. There you go. 
Dr. Fate wins. Okay, next up, let's see what I've got brought up. Mortal Kombat. Okay, let's, let's play as him. I think that's uh, Raiden's brother. And I'm gonna put him up against one of the uh, additional char DLC characters, John Rambo. As you can see, there's loads of characters to choose from here. There's Robocop as well, there's also the Terminator. But we'll stick with John Rambo. See how he goes. And we'll just randomize where we end up or what we fight. Okay, the stage is set, so to speak. Let's see what happens. I mean, the Mortal Kombat to beat him up um, fighting game like this is it's so much more polished than the other games. Which is why I'm fighting until it's over. Do not end it like this. I think back in the day, I mean, back in the 70s, I think, 70s, 80s, they actually used um, digital animations from real people. So there were real actors that they used for them. I used to remember playing this in the uh, arcades when I was a lot younger, when I was in my teens. I used to go to London, uh, go down Soho or Wardour Street and play and play the slot machines there. <clears throat> those were good times. I think in those days life was a lot more simpler, a lot more innocent, I think. Didn't have any of these... Uh, video game so to speak, you had to go to arcades and stuff. Yeah, the Commodore 64 was out. Um, I still remember having a Commodore 64 and a, a Sinclair 128. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah. Okay, there's some good moves here anyway. Like I said, I'm not really much on combinations and stuff, it's just the basic stuff I tend to do. As you can see from here, just basic punches. Messing around with the actual triggers, the left and right trigger. Now that I didn't expect, <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. You can get some of the environment and use them against your opponent, as far as I know, and I have done that before. No, I don't know any of the finishing moves at all. But at least he wins. So we go on to the next one. The next fighting game that I have on my repertoire, so to speak, is Street Fighter V. Or Street Fighter V. Oops, just going through some of this stuff. I always get confused with Street Fighter. I don't know why they just don't have it, keep it simple and just have a basic button that says just play offline and do it like this. I don't have to go through all this rigmarole of signing in and everything. But hey, that's just me. I mean, I don't get these games for the multiplayer aspect. I tend to be quite a single player uh, type of gameplay that I enjoy. I don't understand why this has actually, the screen has done this. Possibly a setting I had, I don't know. But I think it should still be um, viewable anyway. So here we go. Some of these characters a lot, as I haven't released them yet. I haven't really played this game a lot. We'll play as Zartan. Is it Zartan? Or Zagif. Zangif. Big Russian wrestler. 
Let's see who goes up against. Okay. Round one. Here we go. This is more your classic um, fighting game. I still remember this uh, back in the day, Street Fighter. Street Fighter 1, or the original Street Fighter when it came out. And again, we used to play this in the arcade games, or in the arcade um, halls in uh, London. Wardour Street was the most popular one that I think we went to. Again, very basic moves. I mean, if I do pull off a combination or a special move, it's purely by luck. I just basically mash the buttons. That's more that. That's all I tend to do anyway. Okay, it's not doing too badly. Let's see what it does in the next round. Hopefully, this is pretty straightforward. I mean, the things that's happened since uh, I've been playing this is the graphics has improved immensely. Uh, this has retained a lot of the classic uh, feel and look and gameplay, which Street Fighter was famous for. And I think they've stuck to that format. I mean, why break, some, uh, break something or change something if it's not broken, so to speak? There we go with his spinning, spinny moves. I think they're like a spinning clothesline or something. Okay, on to the next round. You win. I love that carpet on his chest. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so 70s. China. Okay, let's see what this one brings. This is a different, I've never seen this character before. I don't think he was in the original Street Fighter anyway. Round one. Fight. I don't even know what his fighting style is, to, to be honest with you. It looks like some kind of Muay Thai or Something along those lines. I'm not sure. It's definitely not Bra Brazilian Caporia. Caporia or whatever they call it. Okay, that's his spinny clothesline again. I don't think he took him with that. I think he hit him with a shoulder barge or something. Okay, round two. There we go. Round two. Some low kicks there. Again, his spinny, spinny clothesline. I'm just, I think. I think when, when you stun them, you can actually do more damage if you just go in. So all I'm doing is doing some heal kicks, but I still knock him out. So it's not too bad. You win. You win again. He's on a roll. There you go. Right, next contender. Now this is another new character. I think, I'm not sure whether this was in Street Fighter 3 or something that they introduced him. Birdie. Now he's an English wrestler by the looks of things. Round one. Or a street brawler, I can never Fight. remember. Oh, the headbutts are getting blocked. And he is getting pummeled. Okay, it's a bit of retaliation there. I just wanted to pull off that special um, 
uh, what's it called, pile driver of his that he tends to do. But I don't think I managed to do it from here. Again, I said, um, these are fairly new games uh, in my library and I've just been starting, to, I've just started to play them. They were really cheap. And again, I think this was from CD Keys. I've got a ton of other games that I bought from them. Um, I'll probably do some more videos of those as well, but they're like um, tactical shoes and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Oh, there he goes. On a rampage. Oops. Again, these are set on easy. There's nothing too difficult about this. If this was set on normal or harder, I would not last a second. If anything, I just enjoy the animation and stuff. Okay, fine. Let's go on into the final round. Again, he's blocking everything. Oops. I can't remember if I lose here. I can't remember. Oops. Now that is a spe some special move. I'm not too sure what those things do, if it powers up or or what. I'm not sure if he loses in here. His health bar's gone down, so that's not good. I do believe he loses. Here we go, KO. I was right. Scratches his ass. You lose. Okay. Tekken. Now I remember. <laughs> this is another game from my childhood that I used to play as well. I used to like this game when they introduced the Drunken Master, the old guy. Um, always enjoyed that. Just because he was unique. But we'll give this a go. Again, there's some characters in here that's locked because I haven't really progressed that far. And go left. Let's go uh, la Law. Another Bruce Lee uh, clone. Let's see how far he goes this time. I think the, the controls on this one are a lot easier. I know that Dead and Alive one is okay as well. But this this guy's more uh, more Bruce Lee-ish, so to speak. He's even got the, uh, the cuts along his chest and stomach, I think. Does he have him on his back? I can't quite see. Oh, that's a good takedown. Again, sorry about that. The, the uh, stuff coming along the side. Like I keep pressing the, what was it, the left button by accident. Again, similar style to Bruce Lee. Same sort of mannerism, gestures and stuff. God knows what that was. Never kick a lady. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, not bad. I just managed to do that the nick of time. Okay, let's go for the next one. Where's this panda? Only in Tekken do you get this. I think there's a panda and there's a bear as well in here. I think they're like the rest they do a lot of wrestling grappling moves. Uh, that's a pretty good move. And again, oh no, that's the other guy. Yep, there you go, KO. I mean, similar to Dead and Alive, you can actually sort of... It's, it's not as linear as uh, Mortal Kombat and uh, Justice League. There's plenty of options here anyway. Again he wins. Next fight. Versus a big guy. He's got there, and another one. And Keizo after three kicks. And again. That's a leg breaker, or a hip breaker. fight this one. I don't think I'll do very well against this guy. I just want to... S can't remember. setting on this is normal it's I haven't changed it I don't remember recall changing it to easy or something I think there is an easy mode that is not good because it's going to get caught out there you go You lose. 